हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंथ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंथनगर उत्तराखंड इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग मैथड्स नाउ टॉपिक इज वट आर द डिफरेंट मैथड्स ऑफ वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग इन एरिड एंड सेमी एरिड रीजन वी वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग इन जनरल देर आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग एंड लेक्चर इज इन द प्ले लिस्ट इन वाटर शेड मैनेजमेंट एंड यू कैन वॉच this lecture types of water harvesting roof water harvesting surface water harvesting runoff induced water harvesting in situ water harvesting and flood water harvesting these are the five common method of water harvesting but these different types of water harvesting are applicable or we can use in different situations actually water harvesting is done in arid and semi arid region where rainfall is scanty and not sufficient to meet the crop water requirement that's why we collect store the water for the future purpose like irrigation and in high rainfall area and where water table is shallow or canal irrigation is there there is no problem of irrigation because through tube well or through canal we can give irrigation so major problem for water collection is in arid and semi arid region so that's why different type of ecology is there different type of soil is there different type factors are there that's why we use different methods of water harvesting which are applicable to a particular situation so in arid region the problem is a low rainfall and high temperature soils are not fertile soils are sandy desert area rocky area bushy vegetation infiltration is poor percolation is poor cultivated area is very small uh, area is stony soil is not fertile so there are different type of problem so in this situation the whole area is not cultivated only the area where water is available or where we can water collect can be irrigated and we can grow the crop easily so what are the different methods of water harvesting in arid region the important one is run off induced farming or induced water harvesting as we have discussed in types of water harvesting in run off induced water harvesting the whole area is not cultivated suppose this is a area and this area is rocks are there and bushy vegetation is there and only this area is suitable for uh, for crop cultivation and rainfall is scanty not sufficient to infiltrate properly percolate and recharge the ground water so the rainfall is on whole the area but now in this area water is not utilized for the crop production it means there is no utility of this uh, Uh, rainfall or the stored water if we store the water here then there is no utility because this area is rocky rocks are there stones are there bushy vegetation is there are there and we cannot grow the crop so in this situation the now the the soil can be compacted and whatever rainfall is there then run off can be induced we can try to move the run off so rocks uh, are uh, stones are cleared a gentle slope is given some modifications are done so that run of water move and now the water is collected here in area and now this in area water is collected and is spread here so this type water harvesting is known as run off farming or run off induced farming and the area from where water is collected known as catchment area so in run off farming water is collected into the catch, uh, from the catchment area to uh, by the channels channels banane padengi thoda slope dena padega patthar patthar hatane padenge wahan se jo bhuji vegetation wo hatana padega soil ko compact karna padega taki rainfall ke baad jo pani aaye wo beh kar ke safe velocity se hum dusre part mein le jaye channels ke madhyam se aur wahan pe le jaye jahan crop cultivated area ho this is the cultivated area cultivated field and now this water is can be uh, is stored and can be used for irrigation so catchment area is very important in run off induced farming but this practice is done in only in low rainfall area suppose rainfall is high and we are inducing the run off then the results are opposite rainfall bahut zyada ho rahi hai aur humne run off ko induce kar diya humne run off ko bada diya then there will be soil erosion so soil fertility will deplete there will be soil erosion so there will be negative impact so run off induced farming is done only in small uh, less rainfall एरिया ये इसको वहीं करना है जहां रेनफॉल बहुत कम होती है हाई रेनफॉल एरिया में या मीडियम रेनफॉल एरिया में इसको नहीं करना है बिकॉज इन हाई एंड मीडियम रेनफॉल एरिया रेनफॉल 
देर इज सफिशियंट परकुलेशन एंड वाटर इज इन रूट जोन एंड अप टू द ग्राउंड वाटर तो इसको हाई रेनफॉल एरिया बिल्कुल नहीं करना ऐसा करेंगे रन ऑफ कंड्यूस करेंगे तो सॉइल रोज हो जाएगा पूरी सॉइल लॉस हो जाएगी अनदर मैथड इन एरिड रीजन इज वाटर स्प्रेडिंग मीन्स वाटर इज स्प्रेड इन टू द फील्ड इफ देर आर चैनल्स विच कैरी वाटर लाइक दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन बेटर वे बाई दिस डायग्राम वाटर स्प्रेडिंग तो वाटर इज कैरिड बाई स्ट्रीम चैनल्स सो सपोज दिस इज द फील्ड सपोज द फील्ड एंड दिस इज द स्लोप स्लोप एंड वाटर इज देयर वाटर थ्रू स्ट्रीम्स थ्रू चैनल्स नंबर ऑफ चैनल्स आर देयर देन एक अर्दन बंड्स आर मेड बाय स्टोन्स और डाइक्स एटसेट्रा अप टू द हाइट ऑफ टू फिट और अप टू द वन मीटर देन वाटर इज कलेक्टेड बिहाइंड दिस स्टोन्स बिहाइंड दिस डाइक्स बिहाइंड दिस बंड्स एंड वाटर इज स्प्रेड सो वाटर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस एरिया now spread here okay so water percolate it wet the field and moisture is conserved and then water carries the soil now soil is deposited alluvial is deposited and then it becomes uh, fertile so this is the method but this is for uh, low rainfall area if rainfall is high then volume will be high and then it will break agar humne aise area mein isko kar diya jahan rainfall zyada hai flood water bahut zyada aa raha hai तो फ्लड वाटर इस पूरी बंड्स को तोड़ देगा जो हमने रॉक्स स्टोन से बनाया इसको तोड़ देगा कोई उसका एडवांटेज नहीं होगा दैट्स व्हाई वाटर स्प्रेडिंग इज डन ओनली इन लेस रेनफॉल एरिया इट इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर हाई रेनफॉल एरिया बिकॉज वॉल्यूम इज हाई कानेटिक एनर्जी इज वेरी हाई एंड इट विल ब्रेक एंड वी कैन नॉट चेक द वाटर एक्चुअली इट इज फॉर चेक द वाटर सो दैट वाटर इज स्प्रेड ऑल अराउंड एंड परकुलेट स्लोली एंड स्लोली एंड कीप द सॉइल मॉस्ट कीप द रूट जोन मॉइस्ट सो दिस इज द वाटर स्प्रेडिंग another is micro catchment micro means small catchment the area where water is captured water is uh, uh, obtained okay to wo micro mane hame ek aisa area mein water ko store karna hai jo bahut chhota hai so suppose this is the field suppose this is the field then we make a micro catchment about 15 to 20 square meter area a small catchment uh, maybe 3 by 5 or maybe 4 5 uh, 4 by 5 meter maybe 3 meter 3 uh, meter बाई फाइव मीटर और फोर मीटर बाई फाइव मीटर मे बी ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वायर मीटर मे बी थर्टी स्क्वायर मीटर सो सपोज दिस इज अयर द स्लो सो वी मेक स्मॉल माइक्रो कैचमेंट ओके लाइक दैट द एरिया इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव अप टू थर्टी स्क्वायर मीटर देन वट देन वट दिस इज द लोअर पार्ट सो वाटर इज स्टोर्ड हेयर नाउ water is stored here in lower part now this is the bund then here water is stored of this field is stored here and this is the micro catchment now soil is dug soil is dug and a plant a tree can be planted here so this is the micro catchment we can plant a tree so water water comes from here water comes from here and is stored here so the whole field is not cultivated the lower part of this size is utilized so whole field is divided into uh, micro catchment in number of micro catchment and then lower part uh, is utilized for the growing uh, the tree or plant this so, uh, is depression is made a small whole uh, soil is dug तो उसमें किया जाता है इसको छोटे छोटे हमने प्लॉट्स में बांट लिया और ये स्लोपी एरिया है यहाँ से रन ऑफ आएगा यहाँ पानी खट्टा होगा यहाँ हमने छोटा सा गड्ढा बनाया तो पानी खट्टा होता रहेगा उसमें हम पेड़ पौधे या अपना कोई भी हम क्रॉप को ग्रो कर सकते हैं सो दिस इज द माइक्रो कैचमेंट अदरवाइज माइक्रो कैचमेंट इज द एरिया विच कंट्रीब्यूट द रन ऑफ सिंस दिस एरिया इज कंट्रीब्यूटिंग द रन ऑफ इट इज कॉल्ड कैचमेंट बट दिस इज वेरी स्मॉल दैट्स वाई वी आर सेंग इट इज माइक्रो कैचमेंट एंड होल कैचमेंट इज नॉट यूटिलाइज फॉर कल्टिवेशन only a part of catchment is utilized where water is available so yeah that's why this process is called micro catchment so these are the important uh, methods of water harvesting to isko kyu hum inhi ko kyu kar rahe hain because rainfall is uh, less scanty not sufficient to recharge the ground water so that's why whatever rainfall is there 
we try to collect this rain water at a particular place so the rain water of a whole place is collected at a certain place to is karan se humko micro catchment bana kar ke bahut advantage milta hai then uh, in semi arid region in semi arid region the rainfall is uh, more than that of arid region so the volume of runoff the amount of rainfall uh, is uh, more that received in arid region in general to so, uh, semi arid region mein जो रेनफॉल है जो रन ऑफ की अमाउंट है एरिड रीजन के कंपेयर में थोड़ा ज्यादा होता है तो इसका मतलब हमको जो अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर मिलेगी ज्यादा मिलेगी दैट साइड वी हैव टू चेंज अवर मेथड ऑफ हार्वेस्टिंग वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग सो इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज वेल डग बेल मेक अ डग बेल सर्टेन डिस्टेंस सो वेन ओवर वाटर इज देयर देन वाटर मूव इन साइड देन इट रिचार्ज द वेल वाटर this is the rainfall this is the percolation this is ground water this is seepage this is rainfall this is percolation and this is the recharge of well so we can used uh, this well for irrigation for drinking for livestock so water is lifted from well so this is very old technique kuen jo hum jise kuen kehte hain wo hai ye ki kuen khodna ki jisse jab barish hogi pani niche jayega zameen mein usse jo hum kuen ka pani ka लेवल ऊपर आएगा और उस पानी पानी को हम कई तरीके से उठा करके यूज कर सकते हैं इरिगेशन और ड्रिंकिंग पर वेरी कॉमन मेथड देन टैंक्स यू नो टैंक द फील्ड टैंक्स आर मेड सो सपोज दिस इज द फील्ड एंड टैंक्स आर मेड वाटर इज कैरीड बाय चैनल कैरीड बाय चैनल देन टैंक्स आर फील्ड एंड वाटर इज स्टोर्ड इन द टैंक इट इज ऑल्सो ओल्ड मैथड एंड इन केस ऑफ परकोलेशन टैंक इट इज slightly different from uh, this uh, ordinary tank in ordinary tank water is stored and then stored water is used for drinking irrigation livestock or any other purpose but in case of percolation tank the objective is to increase the percolation of water so that level of ground water raises suppose uh, this is the area this is the area and a tank is made here tank is made here so water is collected in tank and it is allowed to store for a long period so water percolate so this is the tank suppose the water percolate slowly and slowly now this water is not utilized for irrigation it is stored for long time so with the time this percolate and reach to the deeper layer and now this recharge the ground water and then when the ground water is charged then water come into well then we can use this uh, water so recharging of ground water is very important to maintain the water cycle or water availability to so, yahan iska jo objective hai percolation ka tank ka percolation bad jaye taki pani niche jaye ground water recharge ho jaye aur fir jab ground water recharge ho uska level upar aa jayega to hum lifting karke pumping karke us water ko use kar sakte hain and during the percolation the root zone remain wet then this water is stored and remain as such in the field so that's why the carried material transported material soil material is here so it, it also enriches the soil fertility but uh, the main objective of percolation tank is to uh, increase the percolation so that ground water is recharged to so, ye humko semi arid mein karte hain ki ground water recharge ho jaye then inter row oh, water harvesting and we have discussed uh, the in uh, in situ water harvesting in the types of water harvesting so in inter row water harvesting suppose uh, these are the rows crop row uh, first row suppose this is the first row and this is the second row third row so this space is inter row so in case of inter water harvesting suppose this is the field so bunds are made and here water is stored in a space so now this water which is stored here keep the root zone moist it is known as inter row water harvesting or in situ water harvesting jahan varish ka pani hai wahi usko use kiya so this is in situ water harvesting while tank percolation tank here water is collected and stored outside the field or at other place the water is not stored at the place where it fall that's why it is known as ex situ ex situ matlab ye hai ki pani jahan gir raha hai usko wahan store na karke kisi dusri jagah pe le jana while in case of in situ water is stored at the place where it falls 
पानी को वहीं स्टोर करना जहां वो गिरता है सो हेयर रेनफॉल इज देयर सो इंटर स्पेस ओके सो सम इंटर स्पेस सम सॉइल इज लूज सम सॉइल मेक फ्राइवल सम सॉइल इज डग आउट एंड देन दिस एरिया बिकम हैज सम हाइट द सॉइल is dug out and put here so it becomes slightly higher and it becomes slightly lower now water is stored here in inter row slightly not not very deep then it keep the soil uh, root zone moist and store the rain water so this is the inter row water harvesting it is uh, in situ we can say it is also in situ water harvesting and in case of bbf and farm pond bbf is broad bed and uh, broad bed and furrow this is the modification actually of uh, this inter row broad bed beds are made broad about 1 meter this is 1 meter bed this is the bed about 1 meter then another bed is 1 meter and the space between two is about 0.5 meter this is the third bed since beds are uh, broad that's why we are saying it is broad bed it is 1 meter and the space is 0.5 meter okay now this bed is utilized for growing the crops we are growing the crop on the bed one row two row or three row depending upon the row spacing and now this is the furrow this is furrow and furrow are deep furrow are deep about 10 cm 15 cm okay the soil is dug and put on the bed so beds become slightly higher and this furrow are deep since it deeps that's why it collect and store the water so these furrows store the water and when there is sufficient water then these furrows are connected so this is the first furrow it is connected it is the second furrow it is is connected by this similarly another furrow these are connected by a channels so this is the channel so first furrow water is connect is in this channel second furrow water is in this channel so this is a channel long channel which is connected with the all the furrow and this channel deliver the water to a pond here pond is made that is farm pond so if there is a excess water then water is delivered from this furrow into channel from channel to the pond and now water is stored and it can be used for irrigation or for any other purpose so this is broad bed furrow and farm pond so this is very good method of water harvesting okay if water is uh, suppose rainfall is less then water is stored in this furrow and keep the root zone moist and then water is available to the plant so there is uh, advantage if rainfall is low then uh, soil moisture is in root zone agar uh, uh, rainfall kam ho raha hai to chuki moisture iske andar rahega to root zone ko milta rahega dono side se is wali uh, furrow se idhar ko milega is wali se idhar ko milega agar rainfall zyada ho jata hai to jo runoff yahan se behta hua kahan aayega furrow mein behta hua is channel banayenge hum channel se aayega aur channel se ho to wo sari channel se collect furrow ko collect karti hui channel jayegi ek pond banayenge hum aur pond se connect rahegi to wo excess water store ho jayega so this is very good uh, method of water harvesting in semi arid region so these are the uh, common methods of water harvesting in arid and semi arid regions thank you very much